Hello everyone and welcome to episode 19 of my Girls' Generation series. Today is all about Taeyeon and VU. And that was such a good album. So first of all, there's a lot of interesting sounds within the album. And that's something she always does. She always go for the diverse route when it comes to her albums and gives you a little bit of everything within the album but without making the album sound all over the place she really tries to pick up diverse melodies but that goes together really well and that's what this album is filled with diverse interesting sounding sound also I feel like there are a couple of growers in the album where right now I'm like, I find them cute, but I'm not crazy about them. But I like most of the album, so it's still really good. And maybe the more I listen to the album, those couple of songs are going to grow on me. I also feel like the first half of the album is definitely the strongest one. Um, from NVU all the way to Cold as Hell, that's where the album reached the peak. Um, timeless to ending credits, you still have like really nice song here and there, but I feel like with the first half of the album, it was just like banger after banger after banger. And then after Coda's Hell, things start to quiet down a little bit. They don't become boring, don't get me wrong. It's just the songs are cute, but it's not that spark that you get with the first half. But the album overall is really, really good. Dayan, so you know, vocals are there and once again i'm really really impressed by how well she sings how amazing she is at switching um singing styles as well and it was really such a great album now in terms of personal favorites i have four of them my number four is siren <laughs>
And that was my fourth favorite in this album. This song is so good. And there's just so many like unforgettable moments there. Um, I don't know why, but uh, the line where she goes, come catch me if you can. It's so cold to me because why is she sighing? Like, <laughs> I don't know why it just it sticked with me. So I love that. Um, I love the chorus. I love that. Na, 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 na. I love that part. Exactly. That's not how she does it, but you have an idea <laughs> of what I'm, which part I'm referring to in the chorus. Um, I love that the chorus is catchy. It's so beautiful. Like she just switches melodies. Well, oh, I love this. I love the parts where it feels like she is rapping, but not really. It's such a nice song and also such a different tone. And that's what I meant uh, earlier with interesting, different sound, because she never settles for basic. Never. She always challenges herself and always try to do different things in song. And it pays off because now she's able to pick out songs and literally make it whatever she wants because she knows the different styles that she excels at. And I just love that from her. Number three is Set Myself on Fire. That was my third favorite in this album. It's just so good. It's beautiful. And I love this song. It's definitely one that you love to sing along to. And it's the type of song that just sticks over. You know, you know, some songs, when you listen to them, you already know you have to close your eyes and just enjoy because this is definitely the type of songs that you have to take your time and absorb. I don't know why, but like that's the feeling that I get every time I listen to the song. Ultimately, oh my God, I can't speak. <laughs> oh, like I close my eyes immediately without even saying or thinking about anything. I just close my eyes and enjoy the song. Now, number two is ending credits.
was my second favorite in this album the vocals oh my god and the song is so intense it's so good number one in the album is in view falling in love
and that was my favorite song in this album it's so good it's the first song on the album and as soon as you hear it you know you're about to have a good time um it's beautiful i love the way she sings on here i love the way she sings period but <laughs> she always finds a new way to just impress it impress me oh my god <laughs> but like it's such a great song and it's the best in the album for me let me know in the comments how you felt about this album which song ended up being your favorite and if you want more check out girl generation playlist um on the channel there's solo music group music subunits so everything girls generation is there also don't forget to leave a like a comment or subscribe